The Institute of Evolutionary Biology was founded in July 2008 as a giant institute of the Pompeu Fabra University and the Spanish National Research Council. The scope and general goals of the institute focus on the processes and mechanism that generates biodiversity. We use all the available new tools, experimental and computational, to understand the basic functioning of life, also to unveil the mechanisms generating innovations and evolutionary changes. Nowadays, the institute activity involves about 100 people, 20 research groups distributed in five scientific programs. Concerning the organization, in addition to the classical uh, figures of director, vice, -direct, vice director and the executive board, the institute counts with the important managing structures of the board of trustees and the external scientific committee, which helps us to take the most strategic decisions. As to today, the institute is uh, composed by five different programs. We cover different areas, all of them leaded and formed by uh, international leaders in the field. We have a functional evolution in insects, we have population genetics, comparative and computational genomics, uh, phylogenetics and systematics, and we have recently incorporated a program on, six, on complex systems. Uh, the average number of PIs, that is of research groups per program, is about four or five. And of course this means that we have a lot of growing space, both within uh, programs and both as to the number of programs in the Institute. Within the Institute, I belong to the Animal Phylogeny and Systematics program. Uh, within this program there are groups that work with um, uh, insects, uh, amphibians, reptiles and mammals, studying their evolution and their diversity. Uh, in my laboratory, for example, we work with butterflies and we do uh, collecting trips to collect samples and after we study their uh, morphology, ecology and especially their genetics. In the program of functional evolution in insects, uh, we study different uh, questions that are essential for the biology of the organisms and we use different uh, insects as a model organism and all the studies that we do are under an evolutionary perspective and we use the tools that the functional genomics offers to test uh, experimentally in the lab uh, different uh, evolutionary hypotheses. At the paleogenomics lab, in, what we do is to study uh, genomes from extinct species, including uh, human species like Neanderthals. And in this case, we have been working during many years in the Neanderthal site at El Cidron in uh, Asturias, in north of Spain. And by doing this kind of research, we are able not only to know things about the evolution of these species, but also in the case of the Neanderthals to uh, know things about ourselves, what makes us humans and what makes us different to other uh, human species. Within the Institute of Evolutionary Biology, I coordinate the uh, population genetics program uh, that has uh, several groups. And within these groups, my group is focused on the analysis of the human genome diversity. Uh, so we are interested in the analysis of the diversity in populations, in human populations, in order to unravel uh, the population history, migrations and mixture, in order to know how the history of our species has been and which are the uh, adaptative events that took place in the, last, uh, in the past, uh, in the, our species.